Hi everyone, I am finally ready to open the last bottle from my Wink Wine Club subscription. So this I got four bottles in January. I've been trying to do one a week. I've got one to go and then I can give um, my reviews so they'll know how to curate my next box, which I think they're going to be curating uh, next week. So I knew I had to try to get this done this weekend. So I'm so glad that you're here. So I hope that you stay and join me as we taste this last bottle of wine together. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy, and welcome back to another episode of Nancy's Wine Diaries. You know, this is these are some of my favorite subscriptions, <coughs> and um, yeah, so I'm just having a lot of fun trying some different wines and sharing them with you, and looking forward to some feedback and different other wines that I should kind of open up my mind to. Because last year and all the other years, I only wanted sweet wines. I only want, wanted like Moscatos or the sweet Cinderella's. If I tasted anything like dark and red in my mouth, it was like, ooh, I don't like it. It's dry. I don't like it. I don't want it. I'll just sip it to be polite, but I don't like it. And of course, now that I've been kind of opening my mind, I kind of like those wines, even sometimes better than some of the Moscatos I've been getting. Yeah, go figure, who knows? But anyway, so this is a wink and it's a wine club. W-I-N-C. It comes in this great little box. Thirsty. It's no way to live. And I ordered my first box on January 16th. And um, yeah, so just go on the website. The first uh, box was $29.95. Shipping was free. And um, yeah, so I ordered it on the 16th. 16th and I got it on the 21st so that was really really fast and what did they do is they ask you a couple of questions and it's not like um, oh do you like wine because yeah you know you do otherwise why would you be on this site right and um, or but it doesn't ask you do you like reds do you like whites do you like a blend you know they just do you like skittles do you like M&Ms do you like chocolate cake do you like cheesecake do you like steak or do you like pork or are you a vegetarian or just kind of questions like that and from that they curated four bottles of wine for me because I really don't know a lot about wines I took um you know the suggestions and then what happens is you're supposed to um, once you taste the wines, you go back onto the website and you give your review on that. And that's how they decide how to curate your next bottles of wine by your feedback. I mean, if you don't give any feedback, they're going to assume that you like those wines. So if you don't like them and you don't say anything, you're going to probably get wines that you don't like all the time. So it's just really nice to give the feedback. Probably kind of how, how it works with Stitch Fix, although sometimes I think they don't listen. But anyway, so my next four bottles that they're going to be curating probably next week for me is going to be based on my feedback. Um, the four bottles that they sent me last time, I liked every single one. The first one I had was from South Africa, and I think that's one thing I like about this is that you get bottles from all over the world. And so it was a, it was from Chami. It was a Sinsalt. I had never even heard of that wine. And the first few sips, I mean, the first glass, second glass, third glass was really, really fun. It was nice. It was flavorful. It did have kind of like a taste of tomato in there. And because I'm really not drinking that much, or maybe it's my sealing system, by the end of the week, when I was going to, yeah, I might as well finish this bottle before I open the next one, that's all I could taste. And it was like um, the acid, like tomato. So I don't know if I didn't seal it right or um, tight enough, or if it was just one of those things that you just can't leave that wine open for a week. But anyway, but I did like all the others. Well, I got one to go. And so this will be my last bottle in here that I got to give a review on so they know how to do my box. Um, my next uh, order will be $59 for the four bottles. Shipping is free. I'll have a link below. I mean, you can use my link or not use my link. I mean, if you go on the website, you're going to get that same deal for $29.95. But if you use somebody's link that you know that 
that has this uh, club already, it gives them a free bottle. So if you use my link, I'm going to get a free bottle next month. If you decide that you like it and you order a second box, I'm going to get a second bottle of wine. Yeah, so isn't that really cool? But anyway, the box it comes in is really cool. Thirsty is no way to live. Wink, W-I-N-C. On here, I probably won't be able to show it because I got my flowers in the way. It says, poke me. And then you get wine. You get wine. And you get wine. And you get wine. So just really, really fun. And my friend said that sounds like an Oprah thing. So maybe this club is one of her favorite things. I don't know. I didn't see her picture anywhere on their website. But that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Alrighty. So my next bottle here is a red Sauvignon. Right? Cabernet Sauvignon. It's from Matchlock. And this is in California. And this is actually a blend. They had a competition from this uh, area, Paso Robles. So they had uh, two wineries, one on like the eastern side, one on the western side. So the grapes are a little bit different depending on the climate and whatever. So they both came up with a red Sauvignon both of them were like award winners and they said you know what will make this better well let's blend it for the next bottle and so this is what it is it's a blending from two different wineries so i'm excited to try this um it's supposed to be a um, medium body it's going to be a dry wine 14.1 percent alcohol the red wines do tend to be a little bit higher so i've got my trusty glass here i just opened this when i started to do my um my Valentine's countdown. So I did have it aerating a little bit and I've got a little aerator in here just to help it along. You know, sometimes these things kind of leak on me. But this kind of aerates it and kind of gives the effect of letting it wind a little bit. All righty. All righty, so this is my wine. It's a really nice, deep reddish purple. It's got nice legs on it and coating the glass. And even though some people say it doesn't mean anything, I think it does uh, have, have got something to do with the alcohol content, meaning that it's higher, I think. I don't know. So if you know, please tell me. Um, I've got a cold. I'm, I'm hoping it's a cold. I'm hoping it's not COVID again. I have not been anywhere. So I'm hoping it's just a cold. Maybe it's a flu. Again. I haven't been anywhere. I haven't been around anyone. It just stinks. Alrighty, so let's try to smell, sniff this. I can smell it. So again, I smell like the dark red fruits, like um, plum and blackberry. Cherry. I smell like vanilla. You can smell oak. Maybe pepper. Got a lot of flavors in here, but again, it's two wineries that put their two wines together. Maybe even like a smooth chocolate. Or maybe like a blueberry jam. Yeah. Either that or my nose. My nose could be way off. So anyway, I'm excited to have you guys here. You guys mean the world to me. And uh, thanks for having a drink with me. Because we all know it's not healthy to drink alone. So anyway, I'm going to have a little bit. And then I'm going back to my coconut pie water that I've got over here. Because... I just cannot get enough water lately. Alrighty, cheers. So anyway, you get the dryness, but I got the dryness at the end. When I put it first in my mouth, I got all the flavors of the fruit at first. I didn't get the dryness till I started to swallow it. That is like the weirdest thing. I've ever seen in my life. Well, I haven't seen it, but it's like the weirdest thing I've ever heard of. So I don't know if that's just my flu or cold or COVID coming back that's throwing me off, but as soon as I, I put it in my mouth, I could taste all those fruits. It was um, kind of like a fruit punch or something, and then that's when the dryness hit. So it does have some tannins in here. It's soft tannins. It's not that it just dries your mouth out that bad. It's got so many fruits. You get that acidity, so you're, you're watering as you swallow it. It's soft. It's velvety. I'm going to have another sip here, but I really want some water. 
I know that's bad doing a wine thing and wanting water. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm tasting everything that, that I mentioned. Um, maybe kind of like an oatmeal cookie, how you use brown sugar. That kind of, like a brown sugar. It's got like some spices or something like that in it. So that kind of sugar. It's a velvety, velvety smooth. Um, maybe someone who's really an experienced wine drinker wouldn't give this two stars, but this is absolutely going to be one of my favorites. I know I'm not going to drink this probably even by the end of next week. <coughs> I do have some of those vacuum type things, so maybe I'll just try to pump it a few times during the week just to make sure I'm keeping it sealed tighter. But anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for stopping in. I'm going to just take a break here and drink some water. Mm, that feels so good. Yeah, so I just want to thank you guys for stopping in, spending some time with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. Um, I hope that you give this video a thumbs up. I'd love to read your comments. I did get three bottles of Malbec that someone had mentioned before how, how good Malbec was. So I am dying to do like a taste test of those three different price categories and just see if I can tell the difference if the cheapest one that was like five four ninety nine is as good as the one that I bought for twenty one ninety nine. Who knows? Because like I don't have an experienced palette. It's just just my opinions. So I'm looking forward to doing that, but I want to be 100% when I do that one. So thanks again for stopping in, spending time with me. You guys are amazing. I am so blessed. I'm so lucky to have you guys in my life. So until we meet again, love you guys. Bye-bye.